Welcome to the Leading in Effectively practice video. Let's begin by saying that we have just been assigned to write an essay about the topic, college success. Strategy one, narrow a general topic. College success is a general topic. It is much too broad and can, in fact, include many different ideas and behaviors. Therefore, I need to narrow this general topic before I begin planning my essay. Notice how my narrowed topic, Achieving Success in College English Courses, focuses the general topic by considering a very specific area of college success, that in English courses. My narrowed topic also hints at my purpose, which is explanatory. In order to determine the type of opening content that will interest my reader, I need to identify a target audience, and this is strategy number two. My target audience should be a specific group of people who will be interested in the information I have to share. For our practice scenario, I chose incoming college freshmen as a target audience. Because most incoming freshmen are new to college and have no experience in college English classes, this is a specific group of people who will likely find my narrowed topic important. Strategy 3 suggests that we offer pertinent or engaging background information. While pertinent and engaging content can take many forms, opening material should always be chosen carefully to pique the reader's interest and compel them to read on. Now that we've covered all of the strategies for leading in effectively, try answering this question. Considering our narrowed topic and target audience, which of the following types of background information would be most pertinent to include in our introduction? Please pause the video now and restart it after you have chosen your answer. Did you choose option A? This option is not correct. New students will definitely need directions to their classrooms, but understanding those directions will not necessarily lead to their success in English courses. What about option B? This option is also incorrect. Although they might be interested, new students will not need to know my book recommendation in order to succeed in their English courses. Could it be option C? This one is tricky. Understanding the differences between high school and college English will be very significant for the incoming freshman, but 10 differences are far too many to include and develop appropriately in an introduction. This sort of content would be better suited for the body paragraphs. That leaves us with option D, a short summary providing background on instructor expectations for essay development would absolutely be pertinent information for the new student. This is true because expectations in college are, as the previous option suggested, different from expectations in high school. Many students who are new to college are unaware of this fact, so there is clear value in providing this background information because it could help lead a new student to success. There are many ways for your introduction to lead in effectively, but the key is to be purposeful. Create value in your topic. Pique the interest of a specific segment of the population and compel that target audience to read on.